Let's walk through how to install print and document servers on a Windows server. Now we do this because printing is unfortunately a very common operation in most networks. So by centralizing print management through a dedicated print server, it makes it easy makes it easier for us to control access to our printers, manage print jobs, and to do updates in one centralized location rather than having to do it in multiple locations. So to install the print and document services is pretty straightforward. Like all other roles and features, we go to manage, add roles and features, standard feature to, uh, installation. We're going to choose right here our print and document services. And that's going to ask us if we want to do the administrative tools. And yeah, what's the point of having it if we don't have the ability to manage it, right? So we'll click Next and skip past features. And now here there's going to be things to note. And then Enroll Services where we actually make our first decision. Now by default, we're going to install the print server, which is fine. That's the default thing that we need. Includes a print uh, management snap-in used for managing printers. All right. We have two other options, internet printing and LPD service. Now, internet printing is used to enable internet-based printing, and it also creates a website that users were, <coughs> excuse me, that users will then be able to access on this server to manage their print jobs. So if we select that, that's also going to require that we add, because we're doing a website, right? It's going to require that we add the web server role and a bunch of other things to it. I don't want to do that at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. The other one here is the LPD service, and this is designed for Unix-based computers, so Unix, Linux, things like that. They use LPR. Now, most Linux or Linux, depending on how you want to say it, systems that uh, are desktop systems that are currently running around also support SMB printing, which is what we use here with the print server. So you don't need to use the LPD service, the line printer daemon, unless you're using, going to print to it from an LPR or a line print requester on a iUnix based system. So if you can serve printers using SMB or the Samba client to Unix and Linux workstations if they have that Samba client involved, installed. Otherwise, or if you want to use the LPR LPD service, you'll need to install it here. So we're not going to be using that. Those are really the only two decisions that we have to make when we're choosing to install print and document services, whether we want to enable the website and inter the IPP, Internet Printing Protocol, and whether we want to use the LPD for Unix and Linux-based clients. Other than that, everything is pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and let this install here, and then we'll do a couple of other videos on managing printers.